Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here. Today we're looking at the awesome Pink Lemonade by Nick Cagnetti. Sixth issue of the series, final issue. So good. Check out this dope cover of Pink Lemonade crowd surfing. Oh my gosh. I mean, where else do you get stuff like this? This is one of the best books out there and you guys are in for a treat. So subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button and let's get right into it. I had the pleasure of uh, interviewing Nick Hagnetti, uh recently to help promote his amazing book, Pink Lemonade. And it was so nice to talk to him. He's so refreshing, such a great cartoonist and such a cool guy, like a truly unique of the individual with such a great voice and such a great message. And this amazing, like all ages, like unprecedented comic book with this gorgeous art. Check it out. Let's get into it. So six issue mini series, um, there's room for more at the end, thank God. Um, it's an exploration of uh, our view of fame, but there's so much more in it. There's like so many messages on life and uh, how you treat people and just uh, being a good person. Like, I know it sounds stupid, but it's just like, it's so nice to have a comic book that just is so positive and here for good and just, I don't know, you know what I mean? It's just like a great message about believing in yourself and, you know, not giving up. And it's just, I mean, it, it, it's like an affirmation in the form of a comic book, but it doesn't beat you over the head with it. It's just, it's almost feels like those echoes of your parents, like just reminding you to be a good person in your life, you know? And then, it, I don't know, I love Nick's dialogue, too. Nick is so great. Like, look how crazy this is. It's so weird. Like, it, this world he has created is just beautiful, gorgeous, imaginative. The characters are so well-developed. Such archetypes in some ways, but so kooky and uh, unique on their own. Like, the imagination runs wild. Um, Mike Allred is an inspiration of Nick Cagnetti, and it obviously shows... Um, but he has a true original voice of his own. The color palette alone is just gorgeous. Um, this, you know, Pink Lemonade is an amnesiac and she she has no idea what her purpose in the world is, but she has such a good heart and such good intention. And there's so much that could be learned from that alone. You know what I mean? It's like when you wake up every morning, you kind of decide the kind of person you're going to be and the kind of life you want to have and the kind of relationships you want to make with people and um they can be good ones or bad ones and why not choose good ones right i don't know I, why is this becoming an abc after school special psa but i just like positivity and i just think it is so cool plus it's fun and quirky and oh my gosh just like panels like this i live for let's give a shout out to the design of this character so cool so unique i see it being ripped off left and right in um media comic books um you know, it's undeniably a captivating image. And then I love that her, like, Naka version has, like, this... Uh, it's giving me almost, like, uh, what's his name? Um, from the Green Hornet. Or something like that, right? What's his name? You know, he, oh, gosh, you guys, it's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, someone tell me in the comments. Anyway, um, but I just love, like, the thought that went into that, how the, the Naka version just... Isn't it cute and iconic? Thank God. You know how Hollywood always, like, if they take something, they have to change it for arbitrary reasons. I feel like that might be a little bit of commentary on that. Even if it's not, that's what I'm getting out of it. And isn't that what entertainment and stories and comics and movies and TV are for, for whatever you get out of it? I mean, it's nice to see that obviously Nick must have got something out of it, too. But it's so weird also because, like, this has all the hall hallmarks of, like, an indie comic, but it is so professionally done, so, like, well-drawn, so, like, the anatomy is so good. His art is super consistent, and one of the things that he's a master at, I think that one of the um, things that is important to do in a comic book is uh, to be able to draw a variety of sizes of the character because most people want to do like big sh body shots or headshots you know what I mean but to like have consistently like this about this size character like full body shots running through the book not only is that work that's talent people I'm telling you and then it just I don't know this character shows up again and here we are I don't want to spoil anything because it's so good um 
And they're just like, I just feel like every once in a while, I feel like, and that's, I think, the power of the words in this. Like, it's not just beautiful. And that's, that's a perfect comic book right there. A marriage of meaningful words and beautiful art, don't you think? Um, but he just gets so much across with, like, little nuances. And, like, I'm just, like, frozen sometimes and I have to stop and reflect on the things that they're saying because it just strikes me. And I just think that that is just, like, such a great... God, am I being emotional? Like, I feel moved. I did, like, almost low-key tear up at the end of this. I, I can't lie. Um, oh, but this is, I, this is such a great message, and I feel like this is a message, like, almost Nick talking to himself about this whole series, uh, like, or Pink Lemonade talking to Nick, because <laughs> she's talking about something else, but she says, it's okay if it doesn't get all big or anything. I'm just happy I could do stuff with good friends and new ones. I mean... Isn't that what life is about? Like, I don't know, you know, you can't get caught up in stuff and you can't, I, if you can, if you can make it through life and have a good time doing it and have some fun, I think that's a good goal. What else matters at the end of the day? Oh, I mean, the art is like so beautiful towards the end here. It's just like, I want to live in the world of pink lemonade. Oh, and this, I just, this is like, this is epic. This is so cinematic. This is so gorgeous. I don't even want to say what's going on. O.J. Bot, freaking one of the best characters of the whole series. Amazing. O.J. Bot needs a spinoff. He needs a one-shot, Nick. He, we need a, we need a O.J. Bot miniseries. Okay? Until we get the Sherry Limeade miniseries, which I 100% see major potential in that. Don't even, just act like it's a comic book. So she's drawing it, whatever, but I don't want any meta. I just want the story of Cherry Limeade. Nick, get on that. Thanks. I mean, how beautiful is that in his little signature? It's just like outer out. I love it. And then he gets this little positive note. And I just, I love, like, Nick is so, like, endearing. That is the word. If you could, if I could choose one word to describe Pink Lemonade in a complete nutshell, it is endearing. But it is so much more than that. And Nick talks about the journey of uh, uh, Pink Lemonade here. And uh, I won't read the whole thing, but it's so cute. I just have to read this because he says, Now that you reach the end of the Pink Lemonade epic tale, it'll be good to reflect on how it began since I think you're the curious kind of reader. I don't know why. That just seems so sweet and endearing to me, right? So he says, till next time, whenever it may be. So please, yes, we absolutely need more from such a great, important voice like Nick Cagnetti, my, one of my new favorite cartoonists, and just, I adore him and just respect him so much. He had, like, such a rough time going through making this and just still, you know, projects this image of positivity and light, and he is a good force in the comic book industry. Thanks for this, Nick. A beautiful book, Pink Lemonade. I It has been in my periphery forever, and one of those things that I knew I had to pick up, do not be me, do not sit on it. Pick it up. If you see it, if you see this big y yellow and pink beautiful head, you need to pick up this comic book. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button, and I will bring you more later.